welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about Pat McGrath's Divine Rose Palette. I'm going to share with you my experience and thoughts. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stay tuned. All right, guys. So this is an extremely exciting video because I am talking about my very first Pat McGrath palette. I know. Where have I been living? Under a rock. I get it. Um, so I have here the Divine Rose Palette. Now, this is the limited edition one. Um, funny story, there was a YouTuber that posted like an alert saying, you know, the newer palette is being restocked. I was extremely excited and I just like click, okay, I clicked the link, I put it in the, the cart and just paid for it without really looking at what I was putting in the in the cart. So once I checked out, I went back to just look at my order and I realized I purchased the wrong palette. So the palette that I really, really wanted, which was the Divine, Divine Rose 2, um, it was it was not in the cart. I didn't purchase that one. I, I purchased the first one. So although I am extremely disappointed because I did try to see if I can cancel my order, get my money back, and wait to see if, you know, when they do restock, I can purchase the Nora one. That didn't work out, you know. I see all these YouTubers talk about the whole customer service that Pat McGrath has. And once I wrote them the letter and tried to contact customer service, deep down inside, I knew that I had a feeling that they were going to ship me the, the palette anyway, and I wasn't going to really get a response. So they shipped the palette out and it is what it is. I got the Divine Rose palette instead of the newer one. But that being said, I am excited still because this is a, a natural everyday palette that you can wear. And the fun thing is it comes in like this beautiful pink packaging. So let's open this gorgeous palette up. Now the reason I haven't purchased any of her palettes was because I have a decent amount of palettes. I have one that's really expensive by N Natasha Denona that I don't use often. So that's why i'm like oh do i really want to purchase a, an expensive palette and i'm not going to use it often but the divine rose 2 the one i originally wanted i saw myself using it in the the color the the limited edition packaging was gorgeous and of course when they originally released it i missed out on it so when i thought they restocked you know i was so quick to purchase it you know i didn't realize i was purchasing the wrong palette but um, and saying that, even though this is not the palette that I wanted, you know, the pa packaging is really pretty. It's so me. And the palette is pretty much the perfect palette you could use every day. You know, am I disappointed that I didn't get the second one? Yes, but you know, it is what it is. I really want the rose gold palette. I'm gonna just jump in and play with this palette and appreciate its beauty okay so let's let's get into this since this is an older palette and it's been around for a long time i am just going to play around and see what look i can create so let's see here i am thinking i am going to use this color here and put it like in my crease i did use the anastasia primer and i'm going to use the see the sonia g blender pro so we're gonna go ahead and tap into that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. Well, she is really, the color's definitely there. And for the color to look light in the pan, it just translates different on the eye, deeper. You can see that. So my birthday, this is my birthday gift to myself. Um, my birthday pass was June 23rd and the week in before I spent a couple days on the strip, which I will be inserting clips in this video. I went out to dinner, um, went to the mall and just want to see how the experience would be in the mall as well. And yeah, I just wanted to have like a little getaway because originally I planned on going to California and that that didn't work out. So yeah, I just did a little little mini trip. 
All right, now we're gonna use this ref clean refer brush and just blend out what I have here. Doing in small circular motions. Oh, that's nice, okay. And I do like pinky mauvey, ah! I do like pinky mauvey colors. I like to press the shadow in and then go in and blend it. Um, now let's go in. I'm gonna use this deeper color here. Ruffer one, this ruffer one brush. Let's tap a little bit on there. Let's put it right here in my outer V. Just deepen it up a little bit. Let's see how these colors work together. Back in with the Sonya G brush, just kind of blend that together. Play with some of these shimmery colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how this one looks. I got a chance to swatch a couple of these shades, not a lot. Oh, that's pretty. Let's try swatching that again. Beautiful rosy tones. That's really pretty. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this, but I'm gonna use my finger. Yeah, this is her formula is something I do have to play around a little bit and just see how they each perform. Cause I know she has like the special shades as well. So I'm gonna do that. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with this brush again. Now I wanna go and play with this shade here cause I find it quite interesting. Hmm, this shade on top of this shade is really pretty. So I'm gonna do that. Pop a little bit in the inner corner. All right, so we're gonna use this refer three. So we're gonna go ahead and dip into that first. A little bit into that. Go ahead and do the other eye and put some liner on it and I'll be right back. Now, my thoughts. For this not being the palette that I initially wanted, I think it is beautiful. Um, I do love mauve tone eyeshadow looks, rosy tone eyeshadow looks. So this is a winner. This definitely is a winner. And I will be experimenting with this more. And the shade, the metallics in this palette are just absolutely gorgeous. No regrets, I have no regrets. But I must say this palette is really making me want the newer one. So, I mean, I'm gonna keep it at that. We're just gonna keep it at that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, me experimenting with Pat McGrath's formula and I'm gonna continue to do so. This was like a little, a little fun video. This was my birthday present and I just want to come on and just share with you my thoughts and do like a little look. I will be inserting some footage from this past weekend of me being out and about, you know, eating some food and all that jazz. In saying that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed, like and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, we're at the Venetian. This is my first time staying here. So here is the bathroom. Really nice tub. A TV. Here is the T another TV. Closet. Here's the bed. A little living room area. So we can't get the curtains up, but 
the only view we have is the Mirage. But the room is really nice.